Today we'll make a pappardel with zucchini in the oven. And what you need, I got to use, I got a mascarpone cheese, parmigian cheese, mozzarella cheese, uh, goat cheese, I got two eggs, a fondina. I use a black pepper, I got to use the pesto, this is the, the, the pappardelle, and this is the zucchini. Now we prepare the cheese. And I start mascarpone cheese. This is the goat cheese. The fondini cheese. And make like this. We put a couple of spoons of mozzarella inside, like this, but after we got used for the top. I use the, my parmigiano cheese. I use a couple eggs. We use a little black pepper. Okay. I'm not using no salt, because the cheese it's salty. After the end we try a taste so you need the salt. Now I gotta mix all this together. You gotta mix it really good. All the eggs you gotta go together, mix together. Okay. The cheese is ready. Now we start with the zucchini. The zucchini gotta slice the piece like this. Now it's a good time to eat the zucchini. It's zucchini time. It's really good for the feet. It's low calorie, everything. Low calorie the zucchini, but we got the cheese, it's high calorie. Okay, now the zucchini, what do we do? I put my pesto in the dish. And this is homemade pesto. Look how beautiful pesto. Okay, now the zucchini, what I do, I put over here in the pesto, like this, each one. When you make the pasta by yourself, it's okay, you can use a lot, but you gotta buy, it's really expensive. But this, we do like this, look, it's easy to cook. The only thing we don't use gloves. When you do by yourself over here like this, work at the restaurant, you mix all together like that. Look how beautiful it comes, the pasta, everything. All right. Now, the zucchini, it's leave it stay a little while, about 10 minutes inside with the pesto, it get a nice taste. Now, let me wash my hand, I gotta use, cook the pappardelle, I gotta be ready with the zucchini and all the mix of the cheese. Let me wash my hands. Okay, the, boy, the water boil, we put a little salt, yeah, I put like a little drop oil, kind of one of the pappardelle, the stick. Together. And this is the pappardelle. We'll leave it cook about seven minutes. Okay, after we gotta put in the oven to cook more. Okay, now the pappardelle was cooked about eight minutes, but we take it out. Okay, after it's still you gotta cook in the oven. Now we drain. Pardella right over here. Now we put it back on the same parts. And now I gotta take the cheese, the mix together. Okay, we put the cheese inside over here.
give a nice turn. Okay, now we put right over here on these pads. Okay, now we put the zucchini inside like this. You put one and you separate the pasta a little bit like this. And we put like that. You open up the pasta like that. Okay, I got about three or four more. The zucchini is good with the pasta. One more piece. Now I got a little extra basil over here left over. And what I do, I stick it together over here. Got the, the pesto, it gives a good, good taste. Okay, we clean up the dish, everything out. Okay, now. That's it. Now this it's time to put in the oven and we spread the little mozzarella on the top like this. Okay. And we use parmigiana cheese to put it right on the top. Like this. That's it. Now we put in the oven for 12 minutes if this will be ready. Okay, we put on the oil at 400 degree, let's say by maybe 15 minutes, but we check. I don't want to be born at the top. Okay, let's see my pappardelle con zucchini e formaggio. Se sono pronti. Oh, let's see how nice. Guardate come è bello questo pappardelle zucchini. It's it's really beautiful. Look okay, look at beautiful dish. I, I got my Oye baby ready. I put in my dish. I cut one piece. Yeah, I want to taste. Oh, wow. It's really hot. Let me see taste. Hmm, it tastes really good. Thank you very much for this recipe. I hope everybody like. Go on the line, on the computer, on the, on the... Well, I'm sorry. I don't know not about computer, but everybody go on the computer, I'm so happy. Thank you very much, everybody. Thank you. Hmm, my OEA baby, it's really good. Okay, thank you.